A water droplet in free fall in a vacuum is free of adhesive forces and its shape depends totally on cohesive forces and gravity. The cohesive forces pull towards the centre of the droplet and forms the smallest surface area for the droplet of water which makes it a sphere. The cohesive forces acting between water molecules contribute to the shape of the water droplet and the combination of these forces at the surface of the droplet is known as surface tension. Surface tension can be demonstrated by adding paper clips one at a time to a measuring cup of water until it overflows. The cumulative cohesive force of each molecule on the surface acts towards the centre of the water. It is possible to see the water over the top of the glass. The water volume above the top of the glass gets bigger until the pressure from the weight of the water forces some of the water over the edge of the cup. A needle or razor blade when placed in water will normally sink because they are denser than water, but they can be floated on the top of the water if they are placed correctly and they are free from surface contamination which will allow them to become wet. The tension at the surface of the water holds together, opposing the force of the weight of the needle or razor blade, and consequently it floats. It may or may not be easier to float a pin by lowering it with a fork into the water depending on the skill of the investigator. The same applies for lowering a paper clip onto the surface of the water with a piece of tissue paper. The tissue paper should become wet and sink without pulling down the paper clip. A can lid with holes nailed into it will also float rather than sink. If there is enough water weight above the lid's surface to lower the lid deep enough into the water to the point where it starts to become wet, the lid will take on water and sink. The weight of a can lid, razor blade or paper clip has the effect of distorting the shape of the water surface. A special floater device can be created which will demonstrate the cohesion of the surface from within the water body. The device is made from copper wire bent into a circle with a cork floating disc and an aluminium foil balancer serves to steady the device under water and as a weight. The device requires the appropriate weight to counteract the effect of cork's buoyancy otherwise the device rises too fast and easily breaks the surface tension. The floater will remain under the surface of the water once pushed down, although the surface of the water will be distorted. Detergents increase the wetness of water, meaning that the cohesive force of water and surface tension decrease. A toothpick dipped into some detergent when introduced into a water droplet changes the shape of that droplet noticeably. Water droplets are easily added onto a 5 cent piece, but when detergent is mixed with the water, not as many can be placed before the water spills. When doing dishes, you will find that droplets will not form on cups if you have used detergent. String cut into small pieces will initially float without breaking the surface of the water. Detergents increase the wetness of water, allowing the string to become waterlogged and sink. The same effect is noticed with sawdust floating on the surface. When the detergent is added, the rate of sawdust sinking beneath the surface increases. More detergent may need to be added than the initial amount. Talcum powder will also sink as it is wet, given the appropriate amount of added detergent. Steel wool will sink incredibly quickly after the detergent is added. The steel wool used for this experiment should not include any soap already, like pads used to clean pots. Eventually string and steel wool will take up enough water and sink in untreated water anyway. Detergent can also be used with water to create films of liquid in loops of wire such as those used for blowing bubbles. A loop of thread is placed inside a wire and the film is broken with a piece of paper. Both surfaces of the film, the back and front, pull at the thread to create the smaller surface area for the film quite rapidly. The same effect occurs with a piece of thread attached across the wire loop. 
This effect is further demonstrated with a small copper rectangle and a free rolling wire which will move in the direction of the most tension. The detergent water films are self-repairing when they are momentarily interrupted by water droplets or other foreign matter. A device for measuring the surface tension of a film can be constructed from pieces of copper wire that would allow for a force pulling at a moving arm to be equal to that of the force which is applied by the film. Such a device would need to overcome the effects of friction in the moving arm of that device to accurately measure the force. Floating toothpicks are repelled by soap. The surface tension on the soapy patch of the water surface is less than the surface tension on water where the toothpick is floating and the soapy water surface spreads out whilst the unaffected water surface tightens and drags the toothpick along with it. Black pepper spread over the surface of water will also be repelled by a piece of soap showing cracks in the surface of its clumped particles. Talcum powder, because it is lighter than the black pepper, is easier propelled by the tightening water surface. A droplet of methylated spirits will quickly pull the lightweight flowers of sulphur towards the side of the container suggesting that it also decreases the surface tension of the water in the area which it is dropped. This surface tension localization effect is also demonstrated using detergent near a floating razor blade or some floating bread tags. Whilst soap and detergents repel, it is possible to attract the ends of toothpicks using small metal or plastic pieces. It is also a little troublesome to separate a toothpick from the wall of a beaker. A piece of sugar also seems to be attracting toothpicks by drawing water up through its crystalline structure. A piece of absorbent paper being pulled out from the water will work in a similar way.